One of the big challenges when designing an open world sandbox game like Albion Online is that uh, a common strategy for players is to group up in very large groups called Zergs. So we came up with the idea of Hellgates. Hellgates are supposed to promote running around in the world in smaller groups. We try to create opportunities for the players where there's fair and evenly matched combat situations, and Hellgates are such an opportunity. A Hellgate is a rift to the Hell Dimension. You and four of your friends can actually go through a portal, which will take you to the special Hell Dungeons. And within these Hell Dungeons, they're filled with demons. You will fight these demons to get soul stones, and at the end you will encounter a huge demon boss. In order to open a Hellgate in Albion Online, you have to find a gatekeeper. Albion is ravaged by a previous war, and there are many places that are weak where the connection between the planes is damaged. And at these places, gatekeepers will appear and can be defeated. And when you find one, if you manage to defeat one, which isn't easy, it will open a portal to hell. This hell gate can only be used by those who defeated the demon, and only up to five people can enter it. The Hellgate itself works very much like a mini dungeon. So it is filled with very nasty, hellish creatures. And these demons drop soul stones. And you as a player really want to get this, because it's very rare, it's very expensive, and it's used for high-level equipment. But the most exciting thing is that at the same time, there's a second portal somewhere in the world. And if another group of people discovers that second portal, they will come rushing in into the same place where you are. Because we limit how many people can enter hell and also how many enemy groups you'll encounter there, we really have a chance to offer you a fair and skill-based fight. When you enter a hell gate, you never know what's gonna happen. It's possible that you are alone, that you're just up against the uh, demons of hell and their boss. Um, but it's just as likely that you will encounter another group. And if you encounter these groups down there, they will usually be out for blood. They will try to fight you. They will try to fight you for the spoils that you'll find in this place. The creature waiting for you at the end of your Hellgate is a powerful demon. The interesting part about the demon boss is definitely that he throws off these lava bombs. These lava bombs actually stay on the ground and deal damage to anyone that gets close to them. He can slam the ground, flood the uh, combat area with lava and knock everyone back, dealing massive damage to them. And then obviously, if you get too close to him, he will strike you and deal a lot of damage that way. But when you defeat him, you get a lot of souls. And these souls are used for crafting really powerful items and that's why you come to hell. 